Catalytic Communities was created when I returned to my native Rio de Janeiro in 2000 to do doctoral research as an urban planner in the city's favelas. My preconceptions, mainly from media portrayals, were blown away by the reality of vibrant, unique, and functioning communities. I was inspired by the intricate solidarity networks, rich cultural production, social programs, organic architecture, and community initiatives, all developed by residents, despite neglect by the authorities. The rest of Rio and the world can learn from these communities about creative problem solving, collaboration, and localized urban development. We believe that the ongoing and organically nurtured development of Rio's favelas holds a key to sustainable urbanization worldwide. As a third of humanity moves into informal urban settlements by 2050, these communities must be recognized as an important step in development, providing essential ingredients for a sustainable model for urbanization worldwide. CATCOM works to establish policies based on favela qualities, participatory models, and calling for policies that address missing services. All our projects contribute to our long-term objective of shifting perceptions regarding how informal communities are perceived, developed, supported, and addressed worldwide. There's been a return to the policy of forcibly and illegally evicting residents from their homes. CATCOM's short-term objective is to stop these evictions and publicize favelas' hard-won legal rights. We're in a unique position between local communities and global networks. We've been able to leverage this position to develop an expert network of hundreds of collaborators invested in our mission. Journalists, public officials, urban planners, international researchers, foreign and freelance correspondents help us offer strategic support to the communities we work with through visibility, networking, knowledge sharing, training, and education. Trust-based relationships are key to the success of our work. Through years of daily support at our CASA Community Hub, we've developed close relationships with over 2,000 community leaders across 300 communities in Rio. We now receive daily reports from communities across the city, which we analyze strategically, sharing with our network to enable and support. We've structured catalytic communities to respond to the real-time needs of favela organizers as they approach us. Given the volatile conditions under which these communities operate, we stay responsive and flexible to their needs through a commitment to experimentation, humility, and reflection. We're a small, dedicated team with a flat hierarchy, run as a volunteer collaborative network with a 25 to 1 volunteer to staff ratio. Our core staff safeguard, manage, and advance programs. Volunteers, interns, collaborators, and partners help implement and expand the reach and scope of our programs. We use three criteria to decide whether or not to engage in a program. First, all programs must fill an important gap. We use our programs to push boundaries. We invent and establish new possibilities for action. Secondly, through all programs, we seek to leverage impact. We contribute to the effectiveness of ours and others' programs across Rio's favelas. Finally, all our programs must clearly align with our mission keeping us focused. Success is tracked qualitatively and quantitatively using a combination of metrics. We track social media growth, community testimonials, adoption of approaches, reproduction of content, and measurable change. CATCOM is a small organization with only three full-time staff. 10 to 15 unpaid interns, and more than 75 active volunteers. Our small fixed staff surprises people since the reach and influence of our work is so wide. Our model of collaborative exchange across our extensive network of community leaders, volunteers, researchers, community journalists, and international observers allows us to have such reach and impact despite limited resources. We keep our framework light and adaptable, believing that small is not only beautiful, but effective. We're constantly leveraging resources to make them go further to serve communities 
and reach our mission. Our Community Solutions Database provided the first online presence for community initiatives worldwide. We received a Tech Award from the Tech Museum of Innovation for this work. We launched the CASA Community Technology Hub, providing free internet and peer-to-peer -peer training for over 1,200 leaders from 250 communities across Rio. UN Habitat recognized it as one of 70 actionable ideas on urban sustainability. Since 2010, we've trained more than 180 community leaders in social media, 30 youth in journalism, and 50 in video journalism. Our media presence has stopped evictions and improved negotiations, changing the future prospects for thousands of families. Rio on Watch, the only bilingual forum offering favela perspectives on Rio's urban transformation, has become a go-to source for media outlets worldwide reporting on Rio. In 2012, we collaborated with more than 100 international publications and TV programs, 54 of which cited us. Rio's favelas are victims of severe and seemingly intractable stigma. They're broadly perceived as places of poverty, crime, illegality, and squalor. This stigma is the greatest challenge these communities and we face. It fuels the frequent abuse of human rights and supports top-down interventions. It negates community accomplishments and ignores community needs. We work tirelessly to promote recognition of favelas as vibrant, functioning neighborhoods with qualities to preserve and strengthen. This is built into all of our programs and work. Additional resources would allow us to expand our existing programs into new territory and vastly amplify the debates and services they promote. With additional resources, we'd relaunch Rio on Watch as a full news portal, including opinion pieces and debate spaces. We'd produce a story of the favela animated short to dispel myths and stigmas surrounding Rio's favelas by telling the over 115-year history of these communities using historical and economic data. With additional resources, we'd organize a two-day international conference on Favela as a Sustainable Model to understand how favelas offer solutions with regard to sustainability. We'd also produce an educational video series based on our three workshops, eviction resistance strategies, introduction to gentrification, and community planning. This is so communities that are threatened for seeking support from NGOs can find support online. If we were to receive resources to enter into uncharted territory, our top priority would be to open a collaborative space for favela organizers, residents, designers, architects, planners, and policymakers. The space would also be for anyone interested in learning about and developing established favelas as a model of sustainable, affordable housing. The goal would be to document favela qualities that promote resiliency and sustainability and work for their broad recognition, dissemination, and reproduction. We'd aim to design sustainability-oriented solutions to favela challenges that build on, rather than compromise, community qualities. <laughs>